Welcome back, everybody. This is Hayes Tech, and this is the channel where we talk about pretty much anything tech, and I do mean anything tech. So my last video that I made on the Iyuki M11, which is right here, I went over a lot of things on that video, but the two things that I left out, one purposely and one I just kind of uh, mistakenly left out, was the reverse camera system on it and settings. So in this video, I am going to show you guys how the reverse camera system works on this rear view mirror camera system. And I'm going to quickly just take you through the settings on it. So when we come back, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. And I promise this is going to be a short video. Now, I did have my truck scheduled to go into the shop to have uh, the reverse system wired up to my reverse lights, but they have been very, very busy, and then I found out what it was going to cost me to have it done, so I just did it myself. And after doing some research, I'm going to tell you what, guys, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. The trick is finding which of the two wires that go to your reverse light is actually the power wire, okay? Because you have a ground and you have a hot. And I just used my tester. It's very simple to do. I'm not going to show you that, but trust me, there are many, many videos out there that show you how to do that. And, you know, again, it's not that hard. So again, I don't want to make this a very long video. Uh, what do you say we go ahead and jump outside and I will show you the reverse camera system on the Iyuki M11. All right, everybody, here you go. You can see it. Uh, I did want to mention that it is adjustable. This camera, this, this whole end over here, if you pull out on it, it'll come out, well, about an inch, and it'll fit mirrors up to 11 inches. That's why it's called the Iyuki M11, 11 inch, okay? I failed to mention that last time, but this does slide out, and I actually had it offset, but with this slid out, I can actually slide it over also. This camera, you can physically take this camera and move it, tilt it up, down, left, and right, okay? So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And it's going to go ahead and fire up. There you guys can see it. Again, this is the rear view of it. If you touch the screen, you have your brightness settings. I have it at 100%, and then this, of course, is to... Uh, move it up or down which I I went over all that in the other video that I put out and I highly recommend watching that um, if you swipe again this is your split screen this is your front view rear view swipe again this is your front view again you can set your view wherever you want it I like it right about there brightness at 100% swipe again back to rear view you can mute it by pressing or touching that. I want my audio on, so I'm going to go ahead and unmute it. Take a picture. It just captured a picture. The next button is to start and stop recording your video. The next is your settings. And this one here shows you everything that you've recorded or snapped pictures of. I'm going to go back. And this is a lock function over here where you could actually lock the screen so you can't screw anything up. So right now we're going to go into settings. This is the back button. Takes you home. Your resolution, 4K, 2K, and Full HD. We're going to leave it on 4K. Video segments. I have it set for 5 minutes. It's 1, 3, and 5. I'm going to leave it on 5. HDR. I have HDR on. You have your speaker volume. I have the speaker volume muted. Now, speaker volume is basically when you start the vehicle, you hear, you'll hear a beep. Every time it starts and stops recording, you'll hear a beep. Uh, I have that all shut off on mute. G sensor, I have it set to high. Uh, I think medium works good. You'll just have to mess with that, you know, and figure out which one works best for you. 
screen save, same thing. You have one minute, three minutes, and five minute segments. I actually have it uh, shut off. Date and time. I'm gonna press confirm. Next up is your rear screen flip. I did turn that on because if you don't, it looks backwards, okay? It's not upside down, it looks backwards. So I did turn that on. Language, of course, then you got your Wi-Fi. So if you wanna connect to your app, you know, uh, turn your Wi-Fi on. Then you have frequency. I have it mine set for 60 hertz. I think that's the best one to use. Parking monitor. Now, it does not function now because you need the other wire that comes from this and goes into your uh, fuse box. And it's basically something that keeps this powered up all the time. And it will monitor your vehicle in case somebody hits it like they did my truck last time, which was the reason I had to get another rear view camera from Iyuki. And thank you guys for sending me another camera. All right, next option is format the SD card. Then you have your screen brightness. And right now I have it on manual. You can put it on auto and it does work very well, but it starts out dark and it takes a while to get to the full brightness. So I, I leave it on manual and at full brightness. That's just the way I like it. And then the last one is your default settings. So what do you say? We go ahead and take this for a quick ride and I'll show you what the camera system looks like and the backup camera. There's a split screen. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's pretty bright out today. Uh, front view. Um, I did want to mention that anything that we're seeing from the rear view camera is 1080p only, okay? No matter what view you have set on your mirror system, it's always recording both front and rear. So it doesn't you don't have to have it set to the view that you want to record on. It is recording both cameras right now. Again, whenever you want to use it, it's as simple as putting your car into reverse. There is your uh, backup assist. I did find that the that this is off about three feet. It could be where I have it mounted, which I don't, that doesn't make sense because I have this mounted all the way at the very tip of my pickup. So, you know, I don't know. But it's pretty close. Right there, it's telling me to stop. And I'm still about three feet away from that. So, I don't know, maybe it's giving you about a three feet buffer. It works great. I can see where people could actually use this. I don't really need it. <laughs> I can judge distance pretty good, but. There you go. All right, everybody, what do you say we go ahead and close this video out? All right, well guys, I hope you got something out of that video and I'm sorry it took me so long to do this, you know, second video because in my first video I said I was going to try to have my mechanic get this all hooked up for me so, you know, I could get this other video out because there are not a lot of videos showing this camera system's reverse setting in it okay and what i found out was you know I, I thought that it was an actual parking assist and it's not basically all it is is a reverse view that kind of zooms in a little bit and gives you those guidelines okay and those guidelines gives you some kind of perspective as to how far away any object is to the back of your vehicle I did want to bring up that it is not super accurate. And what do I mean by that is um, it's off by about two feet, okay? But as long as you know that in advance, it doesn't take long to get used to it. And what do I think of this reverse system on this uh, rear view mirror? I think it's pretty cool. If you're new to driving and you know you, you need some kind of assist to let you know you know how far things are away it's a good idea so yeah I can recommend it I don't think I'll be using it much now it's hooked up in my truck and obviously every time I put it into reverse it's going to be on there but 
Uh, I really don't need that system. Again, I've been driving for years and you know I'm pretty used to backing uh, a vehicle up. But it is a good option to have if you need it. So that's it. I tried to keep this video as short as I could. I do want to thank uh, Iyuki again for sending me this camera system because again uh, they sent the camera to me without any direction whatsoever and just said here make us a video on this and you know it, I wish more companies out there would be like Iyuki and XTU so uh, there you go if you guys have any questions post them below uh, again I pride myself in reading all the comments and I will try to answer any of your questions and you know if you have questions on anything or comments or any suggestions on any other videos again comment below so all right guys I've kept you long enough uh, I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you all on the next one